Hello and welcome to our scriptural and meditation time. Today our passage for meditation comes from Proverbs the 20th chapter beginning at the 4th verse. Proverbs chapter 20 the verses 4 through 17. Sluggards do not plow in season. So at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find the righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? Defying weights and defying measure. The Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright. Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep or you will grow poor. Stay awake and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer, then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger; hold it in pledge, if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but ends up with a mouth full of gravel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, we live in a society where successful people are shunned and hated. Most of the time, people don't know the energy that is put by these people to achieve success. Here we have Solomon telling us in the Proverbs that the sluggard does not plow in season, but waits to beg. when it's harvest time it's even worse now and days that sluggards don't beg but what they do is most of the time sluggards cry out injustice and they feel that those who have worked hard are benefiting without merit and so they go out and cry as if they are the victims and sometimes they have a large following here solomon advises us If you want a successful future tomorrow, then you need to be a little bit hard working now. And he even goes further to say if what you achieve you don't merit it, it does not even taste sweet in your mouth because it becomes like a mouth full of gravel. Can any one of us say that I've made my success by myself? Of course, when we're talking about hard work here, We are talking hard work with strength drawn from God. Now we have to realize that even a child is known by his doings, as stated in Proverbs twenty eleven. So you begin to see that even in the child, there is a hearing ear, there is a seeing eye that God has made for both of them. And so if God has created all of us and given us the capacity to be able to work hard for our futures we need to start working hard instead of sitting looking and getting envious of people who have worked hard and achieved once we start working hard we will not have time for unnecessary negative criticisms i pray that God gives you the strength i pray that God gives all of us the fortitude to be able to work hard for ourselves all for the glory of God
let us pray. Most gracious and ever-living God, we thank you for today and we thank you that you make us our children. Thank you for the word that comes to encourage us to work hard. And we pray, Lord, that you will give us the strength we need to work. And at the end of it, may all glory, honor, and majesty be to your name. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. May God bless your day.